The Chief Medical Director of the University of Benin Teaching Hospital, UBTH, Professor Darlington Obaseki, and his management team leads the Minister of State for Budget and National Planning, Mr. Clem Agba, and team members on a tour of some of the facilities for which the intervention fund has been utilized. The molecular laboratory is also visited. Sequencing is also done here. There's only one center in Nigeria, I think even West Africa, that can do sequencing. Yeah. That's uh, the ACID in my Brazilian University. Yeah. So with this, we, have, we will be joining them. The inspection continues for Mr. Agra and his team with the visits to the Federal Neuropsychiatric Hospital, also in Benin City. Here, another tour takes place. Medical equipment, all said to have been recently procured. At the permanent site of the hospital, also in the state capital, stands this facility, which is to hold 10 bedded isolation center and 2020 bedded intensive care unit. In the next one to three weeks, we intend to start bringing in the equipment you saw at the other end for installation here. You've already seen that we've done some of the things there, like the X-ray, standard X-ray, digital machine and all that. So we have all the equipment for a standard molecular lab, uh, intensive care unit, isolation center, and then the appropriate PPEs. The minister considers the tour of the different facilities satisfactory. The centers are to receive the 50% balance of the funds. The government is spending about 18 billion in providing 52 uh, molecular labs across the country, and these are in uh, the federal medical centers and the university teaching uh, <coughs> hospitals. We are also providing about 520 bed ICUs across the country. Uh, also, isolation centers we provided money for, and PPEs. For all of the centers, we would uh, release the uh, balance 50% because the money is available is escrowed, and like I said this morning, is specifically for those for which we have seen that work has been, has been done. With the COVID-19 pandemic revealing the needs in the health sector in the country, this federal government intervention is one of the measures said to have been created to strengthen the capacity of the health infrastructure across the country. Jessica Lugusere, Channels Television News.